The federal government is pushing back the expansion of assisted dying rights for those who suffer from mental illness for several more years. Cormac McSweeney with the reason for the delay and the accusations that constitutional rights are being violated. What we are saying to Canadians is that because the, of the significance of the decision, because of the, uh, the nature of the consequences of this kind of policy, we have to ensure that we get it right. We now know the timeline of the delay, with the Trudeau government introducing legislation in the House of Commons this morning after announcing earlier this week that they'd be seeking a pause. This pushes the matter until well after the next federal election, which is scheduled to take place next year. We accept uh, equivalency in the suffering of, uh, of mental uh, suffering and uh, physical suffering and of course here we're talking about mental illness uh, that shouldn't be completed with um, with uh, mental health concerns. Both the health and justice ministers say they agree with a parliamentary committee's conclusion that Canada's health system simply isn't ready for this switch. However, a group of senators, including Pamela Wallen, are against the delay, saying it will lead to years of more suffering for these patients. This is a government for whom choice has been a mantra. Choice on gender, choice on abortion. Uh, made is precisely the same issue. Honestly, I think it's cruel and unusual punishment for Canadians who have a constitutional right. Nearly all provinces and territories have asked the federal government for an indefinite pause on the expansion. Opposition Conservatives have been demanding the feds scrap the expansion altogether. Cormac McSweeney, Parliament Hill.